So today, in this installment of Nuclear War Survival Skills, we're going to talk about filters, pre-filters, and how to use them and why you should. Now, this is not only for nuclear war, it's also for homesteading, bush hogging, or using any type of respirator. Now, one thing I'd like to point out. For NBC use, you would have to use an actual NBC rated full face respirator with the proper military type filters. For nuclear war fallout that does not include chemical or bio, you can use a half face respirator, a pair of goggles and tape to seal it if you don't have anything else. So what we're doing here today is we're looking at some filters I just changed out. I spent the day bush hogging. And this is a 3M filter. This is a pre-filter. And you can see how loaded it is with crap that would have been in my lungs. So you can see the importance of using a respirator when you're bush hogging or you're cutting on the farm. This is a 3M filter set up with the pre-filter and you can see the housing that snaps on. Now what's important here is the pre-filter serves two purposes. One, it extends the life of the underlying filter. And number two, it increases the capacity of the system to limit particulate infiltration. Because with all filters, something is going to get through. By using pre-filters, you increase the efficiency of the filter and you reduce the influx of material into the filter. Thereby, you don't breathe in as much of the junk. Because filters knock down how much particulate you're pulling in. Gas, vapor, or virus, depending on what you're working with. So, as we see here with the 3M brand, this is a good filter for using in industrial, farming, homesteading, workshop. They're cheap, they work good, and you can get the stuff in volume. The drawback to it is it uses an interrupted thread system, which makes it hard to change filters with the mask on your head. So... In a nuclear war survival scenario, if you had to do a filter change in a contaminated environment, it would be difficult to do with the 3M filters. That's why a military full face mask would be preferable. In the past, when I was working on NBC related stuff, we used military grade masks with the military NBC filters. And I've had cases where filters would get loaded and you would have to do an emergency filter change in a contaminated environment. So with nuclear war survival skills in a fallout environment, you wouldn't want to be in a fallout environment unless you were doing emergency repairs, rescue operations, or something like that. So one thing to keep in mind is you can buy these by the caseload okay and you can buy these slip-ons which clip over top of the existing 3m filters so what you would want to do in an nbc environment is you could use this as a sacrificial that way when you come back in your shelter and you decon if you don't have something like this over this filter you may contaminate it with decontamination chemicals or water soap and water so you can buy these very cheaply so what you would want to do is make sure you're using pre-filters in an NBC environment this would extend the life of your filters it would ease decontamination and it would also improve the efficiency of your filter please comment rate subscribe we'll see you on the next video